Good morning YouTube. Let's talk about enzyme catalysis, it's a fancy way of saying how enzymes speed up chemical reactions in our bodies. Enzymes are like the little helpers in our cells that make sure everything runs smoothly, and they're super important for keeping us healthy. But don't worry, you don't need a science degree to understand how they work, I'll break it down for you in a way that's easy to understand. So, grab a snack and let's dive into the world of enzyme catalysis. Enzyme catalysis is a vital biological process that occurs in all living organisms. Enzymes are complex proteins that function as catalysts, increasing the rate of chemical reactions within cells. Enzymes are essential for the efficient functioning of biological systems, as they provide a mechanism for controlling the chemical reactions that occur within cells. Enzymes catalyze chemical reactions by reducing the activation energy required for a reaction to occur. Activation energy is the minimum energy required for reactant molecules to undergo a chemical reaction. Enzymes reduce the activation energy by bringing reactant molecules together in a specific orientation, which allows them to interact and form new products. Enzymes are highly specific in the reactions they catalyze. Each enzyme has a unique shape and chemical composition, which allows it to interact with specific reactant molecules. This specificity is due to the presence of an active site on the surface of the enzyme. The active site is a specific region of the enzyme that interacts with the reactant molecules, allowing the enzyme to catalyze a specific reaction. Enzymes undergo a process called induced fit when binding to a reactant molecule. Induced fit occurs when the shape of the active site changes to accommodate the shape of the reactant molecule. This allows the enzyme to bind to the reactant molecule more tightly, increasing the efficiency of the catalytic reaction. Enzyme catalysis occurs in several steps. First, the reactant molecules bind to the active site of the enzyme. Second, the enzyme changes shape bringing the reactant molecules into close proximity to each other. Third, the chemical reaction occurs, resulting in the formation of a product molecule. Finally, the product molecule is released from the active site of the enzyme, and the enzyme returns to its original shape. Enzymes are regulated in several ways. One method of regulation is through the concentration of the enzyme itself. As the concentration of an enzyme increases, the rate of reaction also increases, up to a point of saturation. Another method of regulation is through the presence of inhibitors or activators. Inhibitors bind to the active site of the enzyme, preventing the enzyme from catalyzing a reaction. Activators, on the other hand, increase the rate of reaction by binding to the enzyme and changing its shape to make it more efficient. Enzyme catalysis is a complex process that can be affected by various factors. One of the most important factors is temperature, as enzymes work best at a specific temperature range. Too high or too low temperatures can denature enzymes, rendering them ineffective. Another important factor is pH, as enzymes have an optimal pH range at which they work best. Changes in pH can alter the shape and chemical properties of the enzyme, affecting its ability to catalyze reactions. Additionally, the concentration of substrate and enzyme, as well as the presence of inhibitors or activators, can also affect enzyme activity. By understanding these factors, scientists can manipulate enzyme activity for a variety of applications, from industrial processes to developing new medical treatments. Enzyme catalysis inhibition occurs when a molecule, known as an inhibitor, binds to the active site or another specific site on an enzyme, preventing it from catalyzing a reaction. There are two main types of enzyme inhibition, competitive and non-competitive. Competitive inhibitors bind to the active site of an enzyme, preventing the substrate from binding and slowing down the reaction. Non-competitive inhibitors bind to another site on the enzyme,
causing a change in the enzyme's shape or preventing the enzyme from interacting with the substrate. Enzyme inhibition can be used in a variety of applications, from developing new medications to controlling the activity of industrial enzymes. By understanding how inhibitors work and identifying specific inhibitors for target enzymes, scientists can design new drugs that target specific diseases or optimize industrial processes. Enzyme kinetics is the study of the rates at which enzymes catalyze reactions. It involves analyzing the relationship between the concentration of substrate, the concentration of enzyme, and the rate of reaction. Enzyme kinetics can be used to determine the maximum rate of reaction, Vmax, and the michaela smenten constant, Km, which are important parameters in understanding enzyme activity. The Vmax represents the maximum rate of reaction when the enzyme is saturated with substrate, while the Km represents the concentration of substrate at which the reaction rate is half of the Vmax. Enzyme kinetics can be used to optimize industrial processes that utilize enzymes or to develop new drugs that target specific enzymes. Understanding the kinetics of enzymes is essential for understanding how enzymes work and how they can be manipulated to achieve desired outcomes. Enzyme catalysis is a fundamental process in biology, as it allows for the efficient regulation of chemical reactions within cells. Understanding how enzymes function is critical for the development of new drugs and treatments for a variety of diseases. By understanding how enzymes work, scientists can design new molecules that mimic the structure and function of enzymes, allowing for the development of new drugs that target specific enzymes and regulate the activity of these enzymes in the body. If you've enjoyed the content on my science-focused YouTube channel, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to my channel. By doing so, you'll be supporting my work and helping to ensure that I can continue to create quality, informative videos for you to enjoy. As a science enthusiast, I am passionate about sharing my knowledge and love for the subject with others, and your support helps to make that possible. Thank you for tuning in and being a part of my online community.